Let's start by looking at answer choice B from that left to right projection. And we can see that we have these three small steps right here. I've just highlighted those three platforms there in green. So we're looking at these steps here at the front of our object. So if you just count the number of steps, we have the tallest step right here in green. We have the second tallest step right here in blue, the third tallest right here in yellow, and then we have a fourth shortest step right there in pink. So we should have four different platforms, but here in B, we only have three different platforms. So we're missing one step right there. And if you look at our actual left-right projection, you can see that there are four steps, not just three. So you can eliminate answer choice B. Now let's look at answer choice C and E. Both of them look pretty similar, but what sticks out to me first is that those two cutouts within it look different comparing C and E. So this one here in C is much bigger than this one right there. So we're looking at our object from that top down projection in order to see both this cutout and this cutout. So this bigger cutout looks the same in both C and E. So we're looking at this smaller cutout back here. And on first glance, the width of that cutout seems to match up with C. E looks way too small. But if you're looking at the object from that top down projection, pay attention to this plane on top. Because if you just compress that straight down, it's going to cover up about the right half or maybe the right three quarters of this cutout below it. So the actual width of our cutout that we're going to be able to see is that maroon width right there, which matches up with this maroon width right here. So here in answer choice C, this part of our cutout will be covered up by this light blue plane that's sitting directly above it. So we shouldn't see this part here in maroon in C as a cutout, so we can eliminate C. Now going back to E, something I notice is that those two lengths seem a little bit short to match up with this length here and this length back there in our cutout. So the easiest way to figure that out is compare that pink length to this dark blue length right next to it. That pink length looks just a tiny bit longer than that blue length next to it. So we'll find that pink length here in our object in E, and we can compare it to this blue length right next to it. So here in E, that pink length actually looks a little bit shorter than that blue length, rather than a little bit longer like we have here in our object. So we can eliminate E, since again, this pink length needs to be a little bit longer. So this section right here in pink in our object is actually sticking out a little bit further right here in answer choice E. And last we'll compare answer choices A and D, and the biggest thing I notice is that this cutout right here in answer choice A looks different than this cutout right here in answer choice D, which is a little bit narrower. So first of all, we're looking at our object from that front back projection. So you can quickly just match up some of those faces that would be visible from that front back projection. And you can find that little cutout right there, which matches up with A and D. And immediately you can tell that this shape matches up with this shape right here in D. In A, that's too long. So you can just look at the height right here in blue and compare it to the width right there in yellow. And those are exactly the same, that blue height and that yellow width. If you look here in A, that yellow width is much longer than this blue height right here. So we can eliminate answer choice A since this cutout has the wrong shape. You can see right here in answer choice D that that blue height and this yellow width are exactly the same. So it has that correct cutout. You can see that this little piece sticking out the edge on the left would match up with this little piece that sticks out right there in answer choice D. And since we've eliminated the others, D is correct.